The Saudi faith was called Wahhabism. It was a radical, violent, and extremely puritanical form of Islam. And its followers among the Bedouin tribes hated the modern world. Wahhabism was part of a wider movement in Islam that had risen up in reaction to the European empires. Another was the Diabandi movement in India. They all believed that modern imperialism was corrupting the true nature of Islam and wanted to go back to a world based on the original teachings of the Islamic texts. Abdulaziz had harnessed this force in the 1920s to seize power. But he had unleashed something that didn't want to stop. The Wahhabists wanted to go on and create a caliphate across the whole of the Arab world. And to stop them, in 1929, Abdulaziz machine gunned them. He ruthlessly killed the warriors who had made him king. But their belief, a violent, intolerant, and above all backward-looking version of Islam, remained at the heart of Saudi Arabian society. And the deal made that day on the Great Bitter Lake meant that America would get its oil, but it would also be protecting Wahhabism a force that had its own global ambitions. Ambitions that were very different from America's.